figure flattering summer dress is easy, especially when someone else has done all the work for you. <laughs> Here with our top four picks, celebrity stylist Kim Appel. <laughs> talking about my favorite thing in the world, summer dresses. I cannot wait to just wear dresses exclusively. They're so easy and people are always so impressed. They think you look so great. I know. All you did was throw on one item. It's good, right? And you look easy. put together. You do. Nothing's tight on your waist. Right. All day. Whatever look you're looking for. And yeah. I just think that they're easy. So we're going to show four different body types, potentially five, um, and the dress that you might want to shop for or look for and the silhouette you might want to look for. Yes. I want to mention right off the bat though, you say we're talking about shape, we're not talking about size. Yes, so we're talking about the shape of your body. Right. So there are terms that have been around forever. Are you an apple? Are you a pear? Are you an, a rectangle? Yeah. But we need to remember you can be a size 2 apple yes. or you can be a size 14 apple. Yeah. So it's still the same rules apply. You're thinking about general terms like for the piece of clothing. I'm going to show you those things okay. that you need to look for if you're an apple, a pear, a rectangle, whatever you are. Okay, so let's start with look number one, which is if you carry more of your weight around the, the middle. Yes. And so, above? Yes. So an apple body shape, you tend to have larger shoulders, yep. a bigger chest, and that's bigger than your booty. Got it. So that's how that we define it. And what happens there is you tend to carry a lot of that weight around your waist. Mm -hmm. So the best thing for you, if you have a bigger chest uh, than, your, than your hips, is to empire waistline. So for example, mm -hmm. this one is an empire waistline. So it draws attention away from her middle. Right. Another thing that you do is you tend to go with a V neckline. So now you have a big chest. You don't want to be covered up to here. Right. Because it's just, now you're just going to, you know, really protrude that part. Yeah. Give yourself an eye, like an opportunity to break it up. Yes. Cut the waistline. Look at something else. This is a fantastic dress. Celebrities with bodies like this, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Jessica Simpson, she has an apple body type. Okay. Eva Longaria, they have a little bit thicker waist. Yeah. A big chest that is smaller than their butt. Really good. Yeah. yeah let them out. Let like, them right? Out. You should be, you should Draw, be embracing you that. You need to embrace it. Don't cover all that up. Yes. And this is a beautiful waistline yeah. um, for someone that carries their weight there. I love this outfit yes. and I love the shoe. I love the shoe. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's beautiful. Okay, let's talk about the second uh, body type, and this is if you have a smaller upper body. Smaller upper body. So we tend to call this the pear. The pear. So yep. if your hips and your butt is bigger than your upper body, yes. then you're a pear. Yeah. Um, it's an awesome shape to be. And I'm a pear. You are a pear. Yeah. So I, when I lose weight, it's immediate like, where did my boobs go? Yes. Yes. Everything goes here and the booty stays. I know. The booty's so, so that's great, pear. Though. I'm okay with that. Um, so the thing is about dressing for your body type, mm -hmm. it's all about balance. You have a bigger butt, yeah. then you need to get some more volume up top. Mm -hmm. So dresses like this is an example. She's got some ruffles going on here. She's got a collar. We're still giving her a little bit of a V, but this could be done up a little bit more. Yeah. So what we're doing is this bottom, what is actually, what you can't see is it's stretchy. So if her oh, butt nice. was a little bit bigger, so you want to keep that part tight. That's your asset. Yeah. And we're gonna we're just gonna bring up the volume a little bit. Right. So imagine balance everything is a balance. Okay. Yeah. Lovely and really nice. I mean, so get cute. a white mule this season. Oh, a white mule. A white mule. For They're your everywhere. Dresses. Oh, so and I just pretty. want to say one more thing about this yes. dress. It's a great dress for the office and can go on to the patio yes. in the summer. It is. Something like this is a great option. I mean, you've all pulled looks that are very much on trend yes. right now as well. Yes. Like this very feminine silhouette is happening so all over the place and the I'm all dots, about it. I'm here dots for trending, it. trending, leopard yeah. trending, obviously my skirt. Yes. yes, yes, animal prints everywhere. Uh, let's talk about the hourglass. And we all know everyone has touted the hourglass as the shape. It because is. Because you can literally pull off almost anything. It is the most beautiful body type if you have this body type. Yeah. It is such, a, it is balanced. Yeah. And so that's the key. Everything that's pleasing to the eye is about balance. Right. So when you're an hourglass, you can really wear anything. I had to throw in a wrap dress because it is universally flattering. Yes. This particular one is under $100. Nice. And um, I, I love the color floral is in. It's not too much going on. It's just mm -hmm. a little bit. So again, hourglass, you can wear anything. You want to have that nice to V. Yeah. She's accentuating her waist, which is her smallest point, so yeah. that's always great for you. But again, a very easy dress. I've styled her with some heels because maybe she's going out, but you could also throw this on with a pair of flats. Absolutely. Yeah. So she's the sort of uh, she's the sort of lady that can probably get away with a very tight bodycon dress. I'm happy Super you didn't bring tight. any because they're not I very did. in right now. Did I you bring did. a bodycon dress? I did bring one, but I just this. You took it out. She didn't look as good as I wanted her to, so yeah. I yanked it. But, good. but hourglass bodycon is you can wear bodycon and that's a yeah. beautiful thing. 
I mean, you can wear anything. Right? You can wear anything. So yeah. Yeah, I love a wrap dress though. There's um, something so classy yeah. about it. Okay, so finally we have uh, sort of a rectangle. Yeah. Uh, so you've, you're straight up and down. You're straight up and down. Or an inverted triangle. Yeah. So which you tend is to have those wider similar. shoulders. Right. With the narrow down. hips. It's very much an athletic body type. Right. It's a beautiful body type. You see a lot of models with that look. Mm -hmm. Angelina Jolie has that. Yeah. body type so yeah. something you want to add weight so if you're straight up and down an a-line is fantastic for you right. a big belt that actually gives you a waist so I saw this jean dress I loved it I just thought it was really trendy really cute it's nice and hefty so if you have a rectangle body shape this is so fantastic this belt will give you a waist she's got a little bit of a puff sleeves yeah. so we're getting a little and some volume down below and something I loved too is the pockets so if you have really tiny hips and maybe you are a little bit more up top that will give you some balance mm -hmm. it's all about the balance Balance. Right. You've paired this very cool uh, denim dress with sneakers. I know. This is so, so trendy good. right now. Yeah. I get a lot of comments like, can I, can't I? I'm like, the answer is you can. You can. Sneakers with dresses. Yes. Yeah. Now's the time now to have some time. fun with that look. Kim, thank you so yeah, much for welcome. that.